Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Christmas beer. Um, this is from St. Bernardus, uh, which is out of Belgium, and they brew this beer once a year, kind of to celebrate the wintertime and also to celebrate Christmas. Um, as you can see, it already wants to get out of the bottle. I just opened it uh, right before starting the camera, so I'm going to go ahead and pour some in the glass uh, just so it doesn't spill all over the table here. But <clears throat> Anyway, really excited to try this beer. I really love their Bernardus 12, the Abbott 12, um, and I've never actually had the Christmas Ale. Uh, we've got quite a few of these in one of the nearby stores here that I frequent. So, you know, obviously I wanted to pick one up and get it on the show this year. So um, it clocks in, let's see, I think it's right at 10%. Uh, yep, 10%. And so, uh, really, you know, I, I expect a lot of good things out of this beer. I expect that it's probably going to taste a lot like their quadruple, uh, that they, you know, the Abbott 12. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope everybody's ready for Christmas. Um, I know I am uh, ready to eat some more turkey, spend some time with family, uh, and drink this beer. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, start by taking a look at the color. Well, the color is a dark ruby red and brown color, and because the bottle started to kind of, uh, you know, come to the top and escape from the bottle, it did pull some of that yeast along with it. Uh, so I am getting uh, not a ton of sediment in the beer, uh, you know, the yeast that sets at the bottom, but I am getting a little bit. And you know what? That's perfectly fine with me. Um, you know, I think that really kind of helps facilitate more of the flavor as well but well let's go ahead and uh, take a smell and take a smell we're gonna take a smell let me go ahead and get it opened up here a little bit so it definitely smells like their uh, Abbott 12 uh, I'm not getting as much of the great bubblegum character that I normally get out of that beer uh, I do get the yeasty component um, I get, you know, some of those dark fruits, you know, the raisins, the plums, the dates, the figs, all of those that we talk about in a lot of the beers that we review. Um, but that's definitely down in there. Aside from that, I'm not pulling a whole lot from the nose. Um, I would say it's fairly one-dimensional. Um, you know, it smells pretty much like you would, you would expect. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, take a drink and see what it tastes like mm. man before I could even swallow that it tastes so good the mouthfeel on this one is not extremely full uh, but it's really full flavored um, there's a good amount of sweetness in there not not too much sweetness but the the acidity and the uh, the bitterness from the hops Really, I'll, I'll, actually, I'll tell you, this reminds me a lot of the West Veteran 12, to be honest. Because I thought the West Veteran 12, one of the things that made it so good uh, was that it did have a touch more dryness than I'm used to from like uh, the Abbott 12 or the Rochefort 10. I would say of the three that I've had, I think this is probably the closest to. Uh, the Westie. I mean, if you're really wanting to know what a Westie, uh, Westie 12 tastes like, I would suggest getting one of these beers. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the way this thing tastes. Lots of caramel. Good amount of bitterness. There's a dryness that really kind of, um, you know, zaps your tongue. It's sort of an astringency. Get a lot of those raisins and dates and figs. Um, you know, pretty traditional flavors and, and aromas. You know, I know I'm not giving you anything that you've probably never had in a beer. I will say, though, that the thing that makes this one better than those other beers is just how enjoyable the mouthfeel is. Uh, the drinkability is very high. Even though it's 10%, um, you know, it's going to get you a little bit relaxed, uh, which, hey, you know, if you're inside for the winter and Maybe you're on Christmas break and you're sitting by the fireplace, uh, or maybe you're having an Eastbound and Down marathon, or you know whatever it is you're doing for the holidays. This is a pretty damn good beer to sip on, and uh, I highly suggest you go out and get some. 
Um, if you're watching this and you feel like it's too late, check around. Maybe I think you know folks will still have some of these on the shelves. But all in all, I really, really enjoy this beer a lot. Uh, you know, the nose didn't really put off as much as I would expect, uh, but it really delivers on taste. Um, so really, I guess that's about all that can be said. So, well guys, I know we're getting closer to Christmas. Again, I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. I hope you get to uh, enjoy some, you know, relaxation with your friends and family. And uh, until the next time we get together, guys, thanks a lot. Cheers.